lot of people are saying like a 12 hour race in Sebring is almost considered like you know a 24 hour race in Daytona and it's probably more than that. Crazy bumpy, I mean there's no other track in the world where the car is going through so much motion. You go to the infield, I mean there's a big party going on for a week. It's just a tough test for, for the car and the driver and the crew. The race here is always intense at Sebring, but I actually like that stuff, man. I'm a, I'm a racer, so I was like, I was excited about having that. The first time I got in the car, just by strategy, we were in the mix uh, in the top three. The car was actually feeling really nice. Um, I really liked it. Unfortunately, after that, we had some some issues, nothing in terms of reliability, but we had a contact here and there and body work coming off. So it was from there on, we were back a bit on the back foot. best part of this weekend is how, as a group, all of our people work together. We raced at the end of this race on the lead lap for the finish. So, you know, that's the stuff that you need to take away from this because when we get the car totally sorted and we're racing for wins, how we adapt to all that is going to be really important.